Hey guys, welcome back to Channel Sturge here and the Channel 16 update is here. I'm gonna go on a bit of a spending spree to see how much progress I can make with this update. As you can see in my storages, I have a ton of loot that I've saved up throughout the past couple of weeks as there were packs inside of the shop and I have a ton of magic items as we head up to the magic items here. Here is everything I have at the moment, but if we head into the shop, I will show you all the packs that are inside of here that I do plan on buying most of them. This $140 one I won't be buying, but every single one of these other packs I will be buying here. So let's start off with this $1.40 pack and make our way up to the most expensive ones. And this final pack in the shop actually allows me to get the blacksmith up to level three. So we head over here and place this here. And I guess it's gonna give us a tutorial of how this works, even though I basically already do. So we'll save that for later on. Uh, but yeah, now we have basically all the packs in the shop. We still have this uh, $140 one that I'm not gonna be getting, but now we can head over to the progress base and get going with the upgrades over here. Uh, we're gonna head all the way down to the town hall and get this town hall upgraded to town hall 16. I'm gonna be spending some loot on this one here. I'm gonna save the 11 days as we have a book of building that we'll be spending on this one here. And there we go, 11 days completed with that book of building. And now we are at Town Hall 16, get those boosts for the next five days, not too bad. We have some stuff inside of the shop and there should be another pack in here. I just had to reload the game to get this pack here, this Town Hall 16 pack for $70. Let's get this one here and get upgrade in the base. And there we go, we got a bunch more loot, up to a million, almost 1.2 million Dark Elixir here. Let's get going with some of these upgrades. We obviously gotta start off with the most important upgrade, which I mentioned in my upgraded guide. We'll start off with the Elixir, the laboratory here, spending 10.8 million Elixir, and it's spending, uh, spending a book on this one to skip the 13 days of build time there. Uh, we have the blacksmith, which we are going to be upgrading up to max level here. So we'll start off with upgrading it up to level four at 2.4 million and the three days. And I have a bunch of gems in my account here. So I will be just spending this with gems, upgrading it up to max level and getting the new abilities for each of these levels, upgrade up to level five for that there's 600 gems. I'm never really spending gems on any of my accounts to instantly finish these buildings with 700 gems there to get that up to level six, nine million to get this up to level seven. And that is actually, we don't get any more uh, abilities for this one here, but we will spend this with gems. And that is the last level I will be upgrading for now. We're gonna head over to the defenses and actually head into the shop and get the new defenses, the merge defenses here, which is 16 million a piece. And we'll get some of these going here, which is actually both of these cannons here. We'll actually move it around and have a tutorial as well, which I don't really need. So we'll get that going and merging these two cannons into one. And we'll actually get the other ones before using any of the books so we can get everything uh, merging at the same time. So we get these going here and we'll get the merged archer towers as well, these multi archer towers. We'll get these going as well. There we go. There's that first one and the second one here inside of the shop to get all four of the merged defenses on the base. We still have 53 million left to upgrade, but we'll finish these off, all of them with a book of buildings here. There we go. There's the first archer tower, the second one, third, and the fourth one, there we go. All the merge defenses are now all level one. And now we're gonna get them all to level two here by upgrading these ones here. We're 17.6 million gold and spending 17 or 12 days to upgrade them here. We'll upgrade them all again. I'm gonna save this archer tower for a hammer, which I think I have a hammer, so we can spend that there. We'll upgrade this other ricochet cannon and the second one as well, spending all of our gold down to basically just a million left on the base. 
and they're going to upgrade the first multi archer tower to level two by spending a hammer of building on this one here there we go up to level two and then we'll use the book of buildings we have a ton of book of buildings to get stuff up up to the max level so there we go the ricochet cannons and multi archer towers are maxed out to level two each now to get the most out of the gold we have now to upgrade the blacksmith up to level nine uh, we have some loot around the base here which i do want to collect we're going to head into the gold pass and collect the two million here and the other one million gold from here bringing us up to almost four million and then we'll head over to the treasury and we will collect this 7.2 million which should allow us to upgrade the blacksmith up to level uh, eight here. We don't have enough. We are 10,000 short, but that is fine. Let's see how much we need to spend. 25 gems, I guess that's a little expensive, but we'll just get that going so we get down to zero gold, and then we'll use more gems to finish this off to level eight here. Now we still have a ton of more loot to get collecting around the base here. We have some inside of the trader. We'll collect 2.5 million from here. We have to collect the collectors and we have three from the league shop which i do want to spend here we have a ton of a league medal so we need three of these to get us up to 12.4 and we are about 400,000 away so i do have to head into the single player map and actually just destroy one of these gold storages here so we'll get this out of the way we'll drop the road champs ability so we can take down this gold storage here to get 400,000 from that there head back and get this blacksmith up to level nine there we go basically perfect once again at 12.8 million gold and it is a thousand gems okay but well, that's fine we'll get that upgraded to the maximum level so the blacksmith is now maxed out which is great and now we have basically zero gold on the base but that is the last of the gold upgrades for now we're gonna head over to the pet house and spend the other hammer of building so we we'll head into the league shop and buy the other hammer of building and use it on the pet house to upgrade this up to level nine unlocking that spirit fox oh i just spent elixir well that messed up because of the ui so i guess we're gonna have to use a book of building on this one i was saving the elixir for something else but i guess we have to uh run with it here i was going to use that on the barracks to get that up to level 16 but i guess i'm going to use the hammer on this one instead so we can get that upgraded to max level that is a bit annoying but that should be fine for now we have a bunch of elixir runes that we can use around the base and we'll actually spend the rest of our elixir inside of the lab by heading in here i do want to upgrade my main army which is the zap electro titan smash we'll upgrade the lightning spell up to level 11 at 11 14.8 million elixir and we'll use a book of spells to complete that up to max level there we we'll head over to the barbarian and archers and upgrade these for 14.4 million elixir a piece use the book of fighting on that one the archers up to level 12 as well we actually have a bunch of hammers that we can use as well for the uh, poison spell up to level 10 hammer of spells is the only one i actually did buy I just bought all the hammers just to have them all available so we get that up to max level the next one is the healer using a hammer of fighting for this one here up to max level and we have the balloons which you'd have to go back into the league shop and get another hammer of fighting here there we go back into here and upgrade the balloons up to level 11 with that hammer of fighting there we still have a bunch more like the root rider which is over here there we go we'll upgrade this to the next level at 15.2 million elixir and we'll use a uh, book of fighting to get this up because we want to get this to max level because it does seem pretty good so we'll get that upgraded and we don't have another book of fighting but we do have one inside of the gold pass which you can head all the way over where is it here it is here we'll get that there and finish this off to max level at level three there we go we still have a couple more upgrades to go i think it's about two more so we'll get this heal spell up to the next level at 15.2 million elixir and we don't have the heal spell or the uh, book of spells 
but it is all the way here. There it is there. We'll get that up to max level. That is the last book of spells that I have. We do have the recall spell, but we'll get that going later on. Now, because I did upgrade the pet house with elixir, we don't have enough. So I guess we are going to have to let this research or this lab just sit with nothing upgrading. And now it's time to spend the almost 1.2 million dark elixir right over to the pet house here and upgrade the, uh, uh, what's it called? The spirit fox up to level two here for 180,000 dark elixir and we're gonna be using gems to finish this off do I have enough over here we got 1600 that should be enough to finish the spirit fox up to a level five 188,000 dark elixir for that one there another 500 gems Maybe we don't have enough I might have to buy some more gems like about another 500 or so uh, 196 thousand there 600 gems are up to the last 500 so yeah i don't have enough to finish this off to level five uh, so i'm gonna have to buy some more gems actually i could use a book of heroes i have a bunch i will have extras which i have planned out here so we just use that book of heroes to get that up to level five so there we go we do have that if we use a uh, potion of heroes so that is maxed out we still have 402 thousand dark elixir and we can upgrade one of the heroes which i will upgrade the raw champion first because i do want to get her maxed out because of that spirit fox so we'll spend 250 2,000 dark elixir using another book of heroes there we're up to 150,000 so I think we head into the gold pass and collect the dark elixir from here uh, what else do we need the trader we could go in here and collect the 200 or 25,000 from there 205,000 and the drills that should hopefully be enough to get the world champion up it is not oh yes that is right we can upgrade the spirit fox up to level six and use the pet potions that i have saved up here so we'll get these going which does allow us to have basically zero dark elixir yeah 3800 so we can head over to the dark elixir storage and use our first rune of dark elixir over here getting basically full loot from that there so we head back over to the raw champion and upgrade her up to level if i can click on her there we go 260,000 to get her up to level 42 getting another book of heroes on her now we're up to 110,000 and the only way to really spend this dark elixir is to head over to the forge and craft it with some of this here so we're gonna have to use one builder on the forge just to get the uh, dark elixir spent mostly we still have 23,000 but it won't be too much of a waste we will have to waste some a little bit down the road with the dark elixir here but we'll get this uh, rune going there to get the full storage once again and we'll upgrade the Aurora champion up again up to level 43 and another book of heroes there now we're down to 102,000 and yeah we're gonna have to start wasting some dark elixir now so we're wasting a hundred thousand to get the road champion up to the next level so this so sorry about this that there we go we got the rune going there up to full once again to get the road champion up to level 44 and actually what we could do now that we're up to 94,000 is we could have go over to here and actually boost the sticky goblin and the super wall breaker spending 50,000 so it's not as much of a waste just was wasting 44,000 so we can use the last room which is inside the gold pass there we go we'll get that last rune there and getting the royal champion up to max level forgot to spend the book of heroes and there we go the royal champion is now up to max level at 45 we still have a bunch of dark elixir which i don't think i have any use for we use all of the runes so that 86,000 will sit there for the rest of the day but now with the warden is the next hero i actually want to upgrade we don't have enough just yet but if we head over to the collectors and collect this we should have enough uh, yeah that we definitely will have enough 14.4 million elixir to get up to level 66 here 
And there we go. We still have a couple of hammer of, or at least one hammer of heroes. We're up to 80, 850,000. So we'll get the elixir rune going here. A bit of a waste, but that is fine. We'll get the warden up to max level. How many more book of heroes do I have? Uh, seven, that's definitely enough to get the warden up. Uh, 14.8 million elixir there and we don't have enough just yet but if we head into the trader get that free elixir the elixir from there gold we need elixir and there we go that should be enough there 15.2 million for that and then now we can head back to upgrade or use another rune there i think i have about three more elixir runes so we got two more so we can get the Warden up to level 68 at 15.6 million there. Now we can head over and collect the Treasury, which is also the Dark Elixir as well. We have 13 million, so we could head back into the Leak Shop and buy some more here. Is that enough? Basically enough. 16 million. We have 100,000 left to use that other Book of Heroes. And wait, is that maxed? Did I just get him up to max level? I think I did. Yeah, that's, oh, okay. <laughs> that's max level for the king, so we don't need to use another rune of elixir. Uh, I guess we could to get something going inside of the laboratory, which I think we will. We'll get that going, use that last rune, and upgrade something in the lab, which will be the wall breaker up to level 12 at 15.2. We don't have any more books. We have books of everything, but I don't really want to use that, so we'll just use 11 of these lab potions to get that finished in 11 hours. Uh, we use one more because I will do some farming after this uh, upgrade, upgrade spree here. But now we have gold runes to spend. We have 50,000, so we'll head over to this here and use that rune of gold. Now I do want to get these expos up to max level, so let's upgrade this first one here at 16.8 million from that there. Use that book of building, we're up to 5.2 million. I guess we can go back into the leak shop here. I don't think we need to get any more hammers. I think we will buy one of these gold, which should allow us to upgrade our first wall up to level 17 at 7.2 million gold there. Not too bad. They look really cool. I'm excited to get all of those maxed out. These expos look amazing. So we'll head back to the gold storage, get that next rune in and upgrade this. And now we're just basically just doing the same thing and getting the gold from the leak shop, heading up and upgrading another wall and then doing the same thing, just rinse and repeat, upgrading another expo over here. We can actually finish both of these with book of buildings. And oh, you need to go to the leak shop again. There we go, uh, get that. And another rune of gold. And the final expo up to level 11. They all look really cool. It's one of my favorite defenses at Town Hall 16. Uh, we can head back to the League Shop and buy the final gold, I think. I'm not too sure. We'll get the four walls upgraded there. Now I'm going to use this Rune of Gold, but once we upgrade the Air Defense, which is the next building I want to upgrade up to the next level, there we go. We're only down to 5.6 million gold. Now I could upgrade another wall, I think. I'm not too sure. I think it will be at 8.1. So I could either use the League metals here we'll use one just to see what would happen uh, so yeah we're going to have about 900,000 in waste so i guess we could do that i was going to plan on just getting loot from the single player like i did earlier on but i guess i'll just we'll just do this just to get these going so we'll get that book of building on these two air defenses i think i will have enough of the book of building here uh, put another wall up here go to the rune and collect this and i know i am wasting some of the loot but it's not really a big deal to me because i do farm a lot on this account so i will be able to get that loot back uh when we oh yeah the wall so we'll get that and then upgrade another rune uh how many do i have left here i think that should be it um, yeah, that was the last one. Okay, good. So we'll upgrade this air defense up to max level and use the final two. Oh, that was the last 
one there. I thought I had another book of building. Oh yeah, I do inside the gold pass. There we go. We'll get that up to max level. Now I don't have all the builders going, so I do have some more runes of gold and I'm not too sure what to upgrade. Let me look around real quick and see what I can upgrade. Now I do have a rune of gold in here that I can collect if it's all the way back here. There we go. I don't think I have anything else that I can collect that will be able to upgrade stuff. But if you head back to the leak shop, I do want to upgrade a couple more walls. So we'll get one of each, which should allow me to upgrade two more walls here. And then we'll upgrade some more walls with wall rings. Uh, nope, that is not the wall rings. There we go. And more wall rings there. That is not enough. So we can head into the, the gold pass, which I have some more in here. There is a five. There should be another five somewhere here. There we go. And that should allow me to upgrade one or two more walls. That's the last of them. So we'll head into the raid shop and buy more walls here, more wall rings. There we go, upgrading more, that should be it, I think. Yeah, that was it. So I'm not too sure how many walls we have here. Uh, we upgraded 14 walls, not too bad for today. Uh, now we have basically empty gold storage, so we can upgrade or use the final rune here. And to get the builders going, I will be upgrading the elixir storages up to the next level here. So level 17 at 6 million a piece. We'll get every one of these just so I can get the builders going with something. Uh, we don't have any more. I don't think I have any more loot around the base. Uh, so yeah, I think that's going to be it. We upgraded a bunch of stuff today. Here's everything that I actually maxed out today with the spending spree. And here's everything that I still have left to upgrade. So not that much. We did a lot of progress today with this spending spree. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did and want to see more content for this update, I'll be posting a ton more. So make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.